Welcome back to Carl vs Alex. Last time, Carl took the win after catching a pretty big carp in the last few minutes of the competition. But the brotherly rivalry has now resumed, and thanks to our friend Rob, we've been given permission to fish a beautiful stretch of the River Severn, where the target species will be barbel and chub. One point will be given for each fish caught, and then there will be a bonus point for the largest fish of the day. Let the best brother win. We've got to flip a coin to see who goes upstream and see who fishes downstream. Cue the coin, Carl. I don't have one. Oh. I don't even flip a bucket then. Heads. You got it. So you can choose, Carl. Uh, I'll go upstream. No, downstream, sorry. You're going downstream? Yeah. Why did you make that choice, Carl? <laughs> it's not an interview, mate. We have got to you know, keep, it, keep our excitement to a minimum because there are other anglers we don't want to disturb. quite exciting today because this is actually our first competition that we've done on a river so we're going to be catching some different species. Well no we fished on the rivers in the multi-species oh, yeah. challenge last year. This, this competition is solely on the river. Yeah. You're not allowed anywhere else. In fact we have to be next to each other. Oh I've got to put up with you all day. Because we're in the same swim because we're using very similar tackle, similar bait, it's, yeah, gonna, it's gonna really show Who's got that edge? And it's gonna be me. <laughs> You'll do nothing. You'll do nothing, mate. Carl's in a bad mood this morning. Once we finish tying up the rods, can we start? I guess so, yeah. I'm all set up, ready to go. And you're cutting your nails. Yeah. Please, can I start? Yeah, go for it. Whilst Alex continued to give himself a manicure, Carl got the rod out, caught Barbara and won the competition. The match would finish at 7pm, which would give us about 12 hours of fishing. And with both of our rods in the water, it was game on. Ooh. You got my line. I've got a fish. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Ooh, what a great start. One point to me. Alex is playing dirty. Yeah. Casting straight in, tangling my line, pulling a fish out from exactly where I was angling. We're having to side cast today because there's this massive overhanging tree above us. The sun rose higher and over the following few hours we struggled to catch any more fish. And things weren't helped when a flock of noisy geese joined us. Wildlife. Oh no. Did they just scare off all the fish or what? I reckon so, yeah. There's no fish left in here after that commotion. It's been pretty difficult so far. I still haven't caught anything. I've been staring at the rod tip and it hasn't barely moved. Um, but we're both getting pretty hungry. So my proposition is this, Alex. You cook bacon sandwiches. Yes. And I give you two points for doing so. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, no, no, one, one point. One this. point? One point. No, yeah, z no points. Wait, did you just say no points? Are you changing the rules? We shook on it. Get on with it then, bro. And I want a bit of pepper and maybe some egg in mine as well. I'm hungry. Fish haven't been very hungry this morning, though, have they? No. Breakfast time. Yeah. With our stomachs full, it was time to focus on the fishing again. 
Carl may have given me a point for cooking up breakfast, but there was still plenty of time left. Oh. Oh. That's a chub. Barbell. Chub. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Trying to begin my uh, catch up on Alex. Slow, steady fight. Oh, crumbs. Is it going to be the biggest of the day so far? Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. We got ourselves a barbel, or I've got myself a barbel. Well, this fish came along just as I was starting to get a little bit worried. I hadn't had a bite and I'd got a bit distracted. I was doing some work on my phone. And then I looked up and <laughs> the rod tip was just whacking around. And this powerful, lovely, like silvery golden barbel was on the end. What a result. Oh, it's such a relief. You don't even know. When we come out and make these videos, sometimes it, it feels like a bit of pressure because we've driven for three hours and we've set up all the cameras and put in all the time to, you know, and then if the fish don't come along, it's, it makes you worried and makes you waste loads of time. But it, the fish did come along. So I'm very relieved. Well, we've both been using the same place, haven't we? Just feeders full of ground bait, nice smelly ground bait, pellet on the hair rig, but we have been also using pepper army. We were casting these feeders into roughly the middle of the river and simply sitting back and watching the rod tips. Or should I say, not watching the rod tips. Anyway, after quite a while of waiting, one of the rods finally moved. Oh, I think it's a small one. Oh no. <laughs> oh, wow. And this doesn't feel like a bad fish at all. I think it's gonna be a bigger fish than your one, Carl. Got myself my first barbel and my second fish of the day. I just had a very hard fighting battle with this River 7 barbel. They really hold deep and uh, are incredibly strong fish. Is that really bigger than my one? Oh yeah, definitely. It's longer, way longer. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, my one was quite small actually. Yeah, okay, I'll give you that. It's getting back in the water. Gonna catch my head then. I nearly did. Thanks to that barbel, I had now taken a two point lead. However, that wasn't enough for me, and seeing as things were a little quiet in the swim, I decided to hatch a plan. Carl's fallen asleep. I've got a plan. We're gonna give this spot a go. Oh, it looks beautiful. Sit back. Just one or two birds up there. Alex would be able to tell me what they are, but Alex has gone. He left the camera, but took the bank stick and his net and his bucket. So I would assume he's gone fishing elsewhere. Which is a little bit weird because we did agree at the beginning that this was the swim which we had to fish. That's the rules.
fish. No. Oh, yes. Oh, it's a barbel. No way. I need to ring Alex. This is ridiculous. Oh, I'm getting a call. Hello? Alex? Yeah? I caught a barbel. Really? On the float. No way. Yeah. You had a nice nap then? Oh uh, yeah, I slept for rather a while. Currently hooked up into a barbel. What? You're playing one? Yes, as we speak. Oh well, it's disqualified. Because it's from a mm, swim. We, we said we had to fish this swim. Well, yeah, you see, I was hoping you wouldn't wake up and I could sneak out a couple of fish from another spot, but I don't think I've managed to get away with it. Uh, not really, mate, and I've just caught one, so, um, yeah, right. see you later. Okay, bye. Bye. He caught me. He caught me. No. And he's caught a fish himself. <laughs> wow. Well, I love it when they do that. Yes! As happy as I am to catch this fish, Carl did catch me in the process and I was fishing against the rules in another swim. So it won't count in the competition, but it will make me a very happy angler. Little barbel are the cutest little fish you could imagine. It's so adorable. L cute little perfection in miniature. Anyway, we got one. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I probably won't tell Alex about how small that barbel was, but it definitely counts. Considering I didn't even think I would use the float rod, I'm really glad I brought it now. It's really paid off. What have I got down there? Oh, I've snagged on the branches. Oh, why does this always happen to me and never happen to Alex? Hello, 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 hello. Hello, mate. So? Well, I caught a barbel, a legitimate one. I don't really know how I was thinking I was going to get away with it anyway. Well, people who do bad things whilst other people are sleeping, they always get found out. I wasn't very happy and things weren't about to get any better for me. No. Feeling a little bit smug now. But take it easy though, because this is really light light, and this is what I had for the little fish. Man, just shows if you don't cheat, then you get a bit of luck in your favour. Oh, wow, that feels good. Narrowly missing out on the biggest fish so far, by the way. The ones you caught upstream don't count. We were now level and Carl still wasn't finished with his run of luck. No. Yes. Beautiful chub. Bye. Alex is not looking so happy over there. Carl had somehow taken the lead, and I needed to stress eat to calm me down. Hours and hours and more uneventful hours passed. It would be true to say we were both getting a little impatient now. You can tell that we haven't got much time left because I'm casting more often. Alex keeps doing the crep check. What's on your feet today, bruv? Nike, blackjack, hole in toe, rubber sole. Sports socks. Yeah, boy. Crip check. Doesn't matter what shoes you wear if you're not catching any fish though. Just gotta put out a little bit more bait. Oh that camera's is that camera still recording? Yeah. Ugh. Ah! <laughs> Oh, so painful. Oh. That wasn't even funny. <gasps> I didn't realise that it was going to come out of the catapult so fast. Ah. Good job one of those didn't go in my eye. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. 
I'm sorry, Alex. So I'm actually sorry. My lips feel numb. Just, <laughs> I didn't realise how strong it was. I know we both want to win this competition, but it should never have to come to violence. Anyway, moving on, and time was quickly ticking away. With the score still standing at 4-3 in Carl's favour, I really needed a miracle if I was going to take the win this time around. 10 minutes to 7. Seriously? Yeah, 10 minutes left. Oh! I've got a fish. What? This might just seal it, seal the deal. Must be five minutes till the end now. <laughs> You've been playing this fish for long enough. Yeah, and that must be pretty much time up. I had somehow just landed another barbel to bring the scores to a draw. And it was the biggest fish of the day, which would secure me the bonus big fish point. Well, that's it. I've won this oh, second you're episode. Five minutes away. Five minutes. Alex There's two. still five minutes. Yeah, no chance for you to get another one, Carl. It's the end. But I'm very happy about my win. I'll admit, it wasn't exactly the friendliest fishing competition but I was very happy to take the victory and that leaves the ongoing scores for this season at one all. It's all down to the grand finale coming soon.